What's up everyone? This is the countdown to Halloween and I am trying to do as many 30 minutes alone as I can do but I keep chickening out. Oh my gosh. Um, I did one the other night but I keep chickening out. I'll get to the place that I'll get so creeped out. I, I chicken out. So um, I'm going to attempt to do another one tonight right now and we are going to, I'm going to show you the whole way in I'm right at the beginning of this cemetery and um I don't know let's see if I can make it <laughs> let's go count down to Halloween guys woo, woo. Okay, everyone, I pulled over. I was going to get out. I was gathering my stuff up here in the car and something hit my car window, but it didn't sound like this one. It sounded like the like the, the back window. I don't know what it was. Maybe something fell from a tree or maybe something hit my window. I mean, it hit my window. It scared the shit out of me. I'm trying to get my car into drive because it was in the park and um, it wouldn't go into drive because I had already turned the damn car off. Oh my God, it scared me so freaking bad. Now I'm sitting at the entrance of the cemetery. I don't know if I want to go back in there. What the fuck is that? Oh God, I see my own shadow in the damn window. Holy crap. I scare the shit out of myself. Oh. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it now. I don't know what that was. I guess I'll turn around and drive back through. All right, guys. I called Angie, because it freaked me out. And she lives 22 minutes away from here. But, oh. Oh my God, I just told her I was gonna leave. But I wanted her to know where I was in case something happened. All right, guys. So, we are gonna take a ride back through. I'm gonna leave you guys up there on the dash. Hopefully you don't fall over. That, I don't know what it was. It scared the shit out of me. And then, you know, not being able to get my car and, and oh, oh Lord, my heart's still pounding. I don't know if I'll be able to do, do this one. I like to get to my 30 minute challenges right before dark so I can see that there's no humans around, okay? That's what I'm worried about is the humans. I can deal with the spirits. I can, you know, try and communicate with the spirits, but it's the humans that scare the crap out of me. Now, I was right up here on the left. Oh, that is my brights. I had pulled over right up here, because right to the left is that, um, I was gonna go right up in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right up in there. All right. Now I just screwed up. Um. I had pulled up, I don't know, a little bit past this little walk path, and I was trying to gather my stuff, I don't know, somewhere along in here, and I was trying to gather my stuff, make sure my door is locked, and of course, let me see, there's no trees above me. If I look and I back up, there is no trees above me, so nothing fell from a tree. Let me back up and show you guys that there's no trees in front of me. I mean, there's trees to the left and trees to the right, but there's none up above. I know you can't see up there, but the, I mean, there's none right up above that something would have fell out of a tree and got me. Oh my gosh. I see something white back there to the, to the left. Do you guys see that? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I can do it now. I think it scared me too bad. I'm going to circle up around the circle again. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it scared me pretty bad. I don't think I would have, it would have scared me as bad if the car had went right into park, or right into drive. But I was just fixing to get out of the car. So, oh Lord. Yeah, this cemetery is really dark. I think they need lights in cemeteries. Why do they make them so dark? Oh God. Oh, my Lord. Well, I don't know. This could be a fail. <laughs> it could be a fail. Now, the other night I came through here. Was it this cemetery? I think it was this cemetery. I didn't get out of the car. I had my connect hooked up. So, that's what you're going to see next. I mean, I don't see anybody, but damn. That's scary as hell. Oh, Lord. I mean, 
I see no one. I don't know if I've ever brought you guys over here in the daytime. Maybe I'll do a daytime video. Because now I'm so damn nervous. I think... That was where I wanted to go, right up in there. But if I got out and started walking up in there, now I would be scared. This is, I'm gonna turn you guys around. I'm talking the camera, let's see. Okay, guys, this is really scary. Um, I know I've had people comment, and let me just try to turn and go back up the other way. If I sit still, somebody can come up to the window. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay, we'll go back up the, the way. We'll just go slow, and that way, if we have to take off, we'll take off. Um... But anyways, this is really scary. I mean, people comment and say, oh, you're, you're such a chicken. Why do you do this? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know why I do it. I do it. I think it's, I think it's a thrill and it's fun. And um, I love to get paranormal proof. Um, I like to capture it on camera. You don't always capture it on camera. Sometimes you see it with your eyes. And don't get it on camera. And some people are the type that, I need to see to believe and I completely understand that because I was you know I was like that too you know on certain things certain things people would do I'd yeah I'd have to see that to believe it but um I completely understand that but for someone to tell me you know you're such a chicken and and you know why do you torture yourself like that I don't know I am a chicken I have I'm the first one to admit I am a chicken but let me challenge the person that's calling me a chicken to go out in the dark all alone to a creepy cemetery and just get out and um, walk around. It's scary. It's really friggin scary. I don't care what anybody says. Maybe some big bad t tough man could do it. That was, that was my glasses fell. God. Um, but let me challenge some woman just like me it's scary it's really scary and it's not as bad when you have one or two or three more people with you it makes it it's still creepy but it makes it not as creepy if that makes any sense you know if you have somebody with you you know that if you scream someone's going to help you right now if I scream there ain't nobody gonna help me not a single soul. So, um, yeah. And I already got scared. So I think that when I don't, oh my goodness, I did a 30 minute, uh, actually it wasn't really a 30 minute. I don't even know if I made it 30 minutes. Um, I haven't even edited that video yet. But the other day, I did an alone challenge the other day and um, I got there right before dark. So I was able to see my surroundings and I knew there was no humans there it really it got creepy once it started getting dark like I started filming when it was you know the sun was gone and it was just starting to to get dark and I started filming and um then it got really dark all of a sudden I could see it with my own eyes all of a sudden it seemed like it just like switched the lights went out it was pretty crazy but anyways um I got through that one pretty good because I knew my surroundings when it was daylight. I, you know, here I pulled into this place in the pitch dark. It's pitch dark. So, yeah, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to get out and do this video. Um, but like I was telling you guys, I did, I came through here. I came through this cemetery and the Brooksville Cemetery. And, um, did the connect now I don't 
I don't believe I got anything, but of course I was driving, looking down at the computer, driving, looking down at the computer. I know at Brooksville Cemetery, I spotted something one time, one of them stick figures, and it was gone, so I backed up trying to trying to re-get it. I never got it back. Um, I have... I um I have to go through all that footage. I have not. It's only been a couple of days ago. I have not um edited that footage yet. So I don't really know what all I got. I may leave it raw. I may leave a raw footage and put it right after this video and let you guys see what we ca captured because um I think if I slow it down I don't know. I'll just ha I'm going to have to look at some of it and decide how I'm going to put it together. But this cemetery here, when I come through with the connect, I will, um, I will definitely connect it to this video. But I think, <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this. I mean, I'm still in the cemetery, but I'm too scared to get out of the car now. I think once I, once I get scared, I'm done. Just like, um, I'm trying to think. Angie took me to this abandoned location that her and Marcus found. Her and Marcus took me to this abandoned location the other night. And, um, and she, um, I was ready to turn around right there in the beginning. I was just like, ah, nope, I heard a noise. Thought it was Bigfoot. I'm like, I'm not doing this. I'm done. And, um, And, um, she ended up, you know, with, seeing as I was there with her and Marcus, it made it a little bit easier. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's still scary. It's real scary. But for anybody to call me a chicken, I am a chicken. And I know I'm a chicken. I'm allowed to call myself a chicken. Um, where's the this road I turn at? Oh, I just passed it. I'm just riding up up through the cemetery. I'm going to go back up the other direction. We'll go back up the other direction. And you guys will just go for the ride with me. Um, yeah. I'm a chicken. Most of you know I'm a chicken. But it's, it's like a thrill. It really is. And when you capture something... I don't know about any other paranormal person or ghost hunting person, um, but when I capture something, it's, I don't know, it's like a, what do you, how would I say it? Oh my gosh. It's just an excitement. And then when I capture it and see it on my film so that I can prove it to you guys, it's really exciting. It's like a, it's like a. I don't know, an overwhelming, like something overwhelms my body. Like, oh my God, we got it. And I, I can actually show it to you guys. So I love it when that happens. I really do. And then there's times that, you know, I capture stuff during my video and um, you guys see it. And I never even seen it when I was editing. Sometimes, you know, I sometimes, most of the time I put on my, hear my headphones when I'm editing. Sometimes I don't. It depends on who's in the house. And if you don't, you miss some things. Like, you miss whispers. So there's times that, like, lately I've been trying to just, like, remind myself. Just put the damn headphones on the first time. You won't have to listen to it the second time. Um, and then look for stuff, you know. A lot of times I'm just listening to the video and I'm watching it. But if I don't have my glasses on... I might miss stuff and you guys spot stuff I mean there's times that I have some of you guys out there that are awesome at this um oh is that a car no it's not kind of looked like there was a car coming in um you guys spot things in the pictures and all them screenshots you guys give me with the circles are, are amazing they're really amazing it's awesome to have you guys out there with the great eyes and the good you know slowing it down look I think the sprinklers are now coming on good thing I didn't get out the sprinklers are on now they wasn't on before when I come through so they just came on so I would have been out there filming in the cemetery and them damn sprinklers would have got me <laughs> oh lord well I've rambled on a lot a whole lot I'm still alone in the cemetery I'm just in my car <laughs> oh um 
Yeah, I don't know if I brought you guys here in the daytime. I might do some daytime videos. We'll see. There was, I have a whole list. I found the book. I have a whole list of cemeteries that I wanted to do in the daytime. Um, some people like daytime videos. Some people don't. Most people like the nighttime videos. But it's kind of neat sometimes when you see a nighttime video and then you actually get to see the place in the daytime. So a lot of people have told me how, how neat that was. But I guess, oh, I could get a car wash if I got a little bit closer. Uh oh, there is a car. All right, all right guys, I'm not gonna stick around. There's a car right there. Okay everyone, that was crazy. A car come rolling in and it come creeping up right beside me. I'm in my garage now, I'm home. Um, it come creeping up right beside me and I just hit the gas pedal and took off out of there. It was so scary. All right, well I hope you enjoyed that video. And um, here comes the connect part of the video from the other night. Peace, guys. Hello, everyone. This is the countdown to Halloween. The veil is getting thinner. Anyways, tonight I am here at Florida Hills Cemetery. And I have the Kinect set up in the car. I have the camera on the outside of the car. And we are going to take a ride through and get some raw footage. Um, and see if we can see any spirits through the Kinect. Um, the stick figures. So I'm going to set you guys up. You guys are going to be looking at the computer. Which is actually the cameras on the outside of the car. I will show you. Okay, so you should be able to see the camera right there, and that is on the outside of the car. Um, I'm going to hook you guys up down here at the computer, and we're going to take a ride through this cemetery. Now, we tried this at Brooksville Cemetery, and I only got one stick figure, and um, it was only for a second, and I lost it. So, let me see how I can do this here. All right, I think I got you guys set up good enough. We're going to take a ride through and um, here we go. getting somebody okay so here we go we're at the beginning of the cemetery Ooh. oh I thought I seen somebody now look for shadows also because if we don't get the stick figures you may see some shadows. <clears throat> <coughs> I need to set up another camera. Um, but I only brought this one with me tonight that the connect and my regular camera. All right, so let me get us up into the cemetery. There was a helicopter. Oh, what happened up? Oh, I guess it just moved. Did it move? What happened? There's a helicopter going over and then... Oh, I see what happened. Darn it. I don't want to get out of the car in the dark cemetery. Holy shit balls. God, I must be nuts. There's another helicopter coming over. 
Um, I hope they're not out looking for somebody and I'm out here by myself in the dang cemetery. Alright. Um, what happened was the thing I got it laying on on top of my car blew over top of it. What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh, I don't know. But that was weird. That felt weird. Oh, well, that ain't doing no good. This camera fell over. <laughs> wow. All right. So any spirits can show themselves right in the camera. I need to hook this um, connect up. I need to figure out how to hook it up to my tablet. <clears throat> um, I think I tried before and it wouldn't work. All right, the veterans are all in here to the to the right. Wouldn't it be cool if we could um, see somebody from from the war? A veteran. Show yourself in the camera. Okay, everyone. I think this was kind of a bust. You know, I don't think we got anything. I think I need to be able to walk around out in the cemetery with it which it's not going to reach. So this might be something that I'm going to have to keep stable, like um, in my house, in my back porch, maybe in my backyard to get to see spirits back there. Or if we have a, ha um, a haunted location that has electricity that I can plug things into and take it inside and just leave it set up, it might be good for that. It's not, I don't think it's real good for the cemetery. I mean, I, I will probably try it a few more times. I didn't see anything unless you guys seen some shadows in the cemetery. Um, so I'm going to end this video and, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I, I, I didn't, I seen a couple of things with my eyes that I don't know if we caught in the camera. Hopefully we did. But I will see you next time. Peace.